Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to Yaki Mountain, pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Um, I wanted to speak about the plans of the elites and um, how they work based upon problem, reaction, and solution. Okay? What they do is they cause a problem and then they wait for the people to react and they come with a solution. Right? That's what happened with 9-11 with and that's how you have your um, Patriot Act. You know, and there was a lot of legislation that was passed based upon that. You know? Before you didn't need all that uh, security, all those security measures to get to get um, on the plane. But since that happened, they done they done made it, you know, very uh, very difficult. I would say to get on a plane. All right, you got to go through a lot of different things. But um, you know that all deals with um, the counsel of the wicked, right? When you read Psalms, the 64th chapter, it speaks about the, the secret counsel of the wicked. All these different meetings that they're having, right? There's certain meetings that are not on video. There's certain meetings that only they know about, you know? You know, certain meetings that only they know the contents of that those meetings. But we understand the end goal of these, uh, these devils based upon the prophecies. Okay, because Esau can't do anything against prophecy. You know, it's very it's very interesting because the prophecies that the Lord prescribed falls right into what Esau has to do to, to, for his plans. And what I mean by that is what what's Esau doing now? He's trying to stop the food supply, stop the, you know, basically put pure hell on the people. You know, put them in a real hellish condition. Well, War is one of the ways that brings upon people that hellish conditions naturally, right? When, when there's a war, there's, there's automatically food shortages and because they're putting all that money into the war, they're not putting money into the economy like that anymore because they're focusing on a war. So world war is also beneficial for these elites' plans. But they also understand that it's written in the scriptures that that's the way that their system is going to be destroyed. That's the way that Babylon is going to be, be uh, destroyed, which is America. All right? When you read Revelations, the 18th chapter, Isaiah, the 13th chapter, Isaiah, the 34th chapter, right? Zechariah, the second chapter, that's all speaking about the destruction of America. Because in World War III, America will be destroyed. Not only that, but Yahweh Shai will come in the midst of World War III. So these elites understand that. You know, so they're really they're, they're really kind of walking on eggshells, but at the same time they understand they have a short time. So they're like, F that, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get this thing wrapped up. You know, so you see them them starting a manufacturing a food crisis, them manufacturing uh, uh, different, you know, shootings and things like that. You know, crises, right? Uh, they're actually setting up the left versus right. You know, these race wars. A lot of these, the elites want that because they want the chaos, man. Because through the chaos, they can bring the order. This is how the devil operates. Really, the devil, you know what Esau's trying to do? Esau's trying to mimic the Heavenly Father. Knowing that what the Heavenly Father controls both sides of the spectrum. He's omnipotent. They're trying to mimic him, right? But they're doing that on the left hand side. And their plans are gonna fail. They're not gonna they're not, they're not gonna get to finish their enterprise. The Lord said while they're about to fill their belly, then will he rain his 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 uh his his fury upon them, man. So they think they're gonna finish it. But no, right when they think they're about to finish it, that's when the Lord is going to put an end to this kingdom completely, man. You know? And it's going to be sudden. It's going to be sudden to them. 
you know, because in their mind, they would have defeated the, the Heavenly Father. When they set up that, the, that MOTB, in their mind, they would they would have defeated the Most High and, and have uh, overthrown the prophecies, which shows you how much of a fool these Edomites are, man. You're not gonna overset. You're not gonna offset any prophecy. Not one prophecy can they offset, man. You know. See, Nimrod tried to try to outsmart the Heavenly Father. What did the Heavenly Father do? He confounded the languages. All they're doing is trying to trying to trying to go way deeper than Nimrod. That's all. They're trying to go. They're trying to. They're trying to be um, Nimrod 2.0. They're trying to do a worldwide Tower of Babel. Right, you know, with this one world government, one world religion, so on and so forth, which that's gonna fail. Okay, that's gonna fail. You know, because the Lord is not with that. The Lord is with separation. The Lord said He separated the nations, and especially amongst the the Israelites, because the Israelites are known as the holy people, the separate people unto Himself. So we're not meant to be amongst these heathen. Okay, we're over the heat. All right, but like I said, that's what these these uh, these elites are setting up. They're setting up that that um, that pressure from below, pressure from beneath. You know, so that what, so that you can come and beg for a uh, a new system. You know, and they and they have the system in their back pocket that they're ready to offer you, and it has to do with that that you know, that digital U, the MOTB. You understand? That's where we're coming to. So, but before we get there, guess what? It has to get hellish out here. This 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 earth has to turn into a complete madhouse, you know, uh, purge like, you know, yeah. All right. So be prepared for that. Be prepared for for purge like uh, a purge like uh, world, you know. Dead bodies, like the apostle, the elder apostar said it through the spirit. You know, dead bodies, dead family members. You know, cannibalism. See, screams outside of your window. People kicking in doors, put people to death, stealing what they have. And you women, you know, we don't, we don't got to get into that, man. All right, there's big, big problems coming for you women. That are not in the right spirit, man. Which is the mass majority. So, anyways, with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Akakadash, the Blast of the Apostles, and Elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love, and respect to you. I came out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Shalom.